Dean Witter was an American icon of the 20th century. He was a businessman, stockbroker, and investor. His legacy lives on through the Dean Witter Foundation. Dean himself was a remarkable person. He was larger than life. You walked into a room and you noticed him. He was tall. He was an imposing figure and, and ramrod straight, so he could tell he had a military background. He was very comfortable in his own skin, but he was not a person who used his power or um, either within the family or within the firm. He'd rode in college and uh, was a boxer in college. He'd surveyed the Hetch Hetchy before they, they dammed it and, and flooded it. He was like a mountain of a man. You listened to him. You know, he definitely was a presence. But he was kind and he was gentle. Dean Witter and Company was established in the 1920s, and the finance industry as we know it really started about then. And so he was a pioneer. The firm represented a lot of my grandfather's qualities. He was what we would many of us would regard as a classic American. He was a very straight arrow. Nothing flash, not no hedge fund kind of things, but rather um, thought out good, you know, invest in America kind of philosophy. They called him the colonel. So I think of a very upright, sort of very, almost rigid, but very morally correct human being. His word was his bond. The stories that I've heard of him are an amazing testament to how, to living by your word. It seems to ring true through a lot of anecdotal stories about, about the colonel. He was, was scrupulously honest that if there were investments that didn't quite smell right, I mean, he, he absolutely wouldn't touch them himself and he wouldn't have the firm to have anything to do with it. So he was the first line of defense against charlatanism or quackery. That he, he, none of that for him and none of that for the clients. A great example and a great leader wherever he was, and it wasn't particularly his plan. I don't think he could help it. It was just Dean. And so he was always concerned with what's the right thing to do, what makes sense. Integrity is, is the word that I would most closely associate with my grandfather. And Dean Witter and company, I think, reflected that. He led by example, and he led in a hands-off manner. He hired good people and gave them what they needed to succeed and left them alone. He trusted them. If he told you something, you could take that to the bank. He was very proud of his accomplishments and, and he was very generous with his time and, and his family and his, and his life, but I think that he was still, um, he would be considered humble in today's society, absolutely. I never, ever felt that Dean had any ability to be pompous whatsoever. Dean was ahead of his time when it comes to philanthropy. The Dean Witter Foundation was probably one of the early private foundations in San Francisco. The foundation that he started had emphasis on education and conservation. Education we all understand. Conservation was because he was basically an outdoorsman. He was a hunter, he was a fisherman, and he understood that you, you deal within nature. You don't try and conquer nature or avoid nature, uh, but rather you need to nurture nature. I think that that forward thinking and that, and that wanting of innovation in these areas in the 1950s is pretty remarkable. The foundation definitely looks for leaders because they're the ones that have the new ideas. We've tended to like to fund new programs, get them started, and then let them go off on their own. What we want to do is find innovators who can really move the needle and, and help in their area of expertise, communities, school districts, society at large, with a little financial help, and we'll take the risk of getting in there early, backing them, letting them do their thing, without a lot of system overhead. We are investing in innovation, so bring it to us. Let us know what your thoughts are. We can try it. If it sticks, fantastic. We can replicate. We can get the word out. We can introduce you to other you know, innovators in the area. If it doesn't work, you know what? At least we tried. There has to be some learning from it. We gave you the money. We expected you to spend it. You tell me you did. Good. Now, now what? Uh, follow on grant? Uh, was this a huge success? Can you now qualify for institutional funding? Can you you're now in the big leagues, or you graduate from the minor leagues, you can go after much larger grant requests because you've done something. You've got a, 
you know, a, a merit badge in terms of this particular project, and that now qualifies you for a bigger, deeper pocketed audience. So I view that as a success. What brings the board joy and what brings the board meeting and return on their investment is really the innovation that we see and the leadership qualities and the people that we cultivate. And I think that that's very reminiscent of how Dean operated. I mean, he started a stock brokerage firm in San Francisco when there were no stock brokerage firms across the country. That is incredibly forward thinking if you think about it. So everybody was in New York. They told him he was crazy and he did it anyway. That's so amazingly Silicon Valley, that is absolutely the spirit of innovation and leadership. Find the best people you can, give them the tools they need to succeed, get the hell out of the way. The Dean Witter Foundation, continuing the legacy of Dean Witter in the areas of K-12 education and conservation.